Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Prickett. I'm here with Maro Arturi. Um, How you doing? Maro has been with Xperia now three years and eight months, I believe it is. Yes. Three years and eight months. Maro, tell us a bit about your journey. Tell those that are watching today, you know, what's it been like for you? What have the last three years and eight months looked like for you? Uh, Jamie, coming to Xperia was, was a tough move at the beginning um, with uncertainty and not knowing the industry from the MGA world. Uh, coming from where I came from. So, uh, but I've been living a dream for the past three years because the business is growing exponentially without that much effort. And, and that is, that's, it's actually mind blowing, not only to, to us, but also other companies and other MGAs in the world, they're all know our name yeah. just after a short few years uh, of, um, you know, the growth that we've been, we've been experiencing. So, it's been great, you know, uh, I've got great leaders in our company. Um, we've got great leadership from the top down, which is obviously gonna make a big difference because you're nothing without your leaders. Um, but we're, we're just so excited about moving forward and moving into the US now. We're, we're still growing on a regular yeah. basis. We're breaking records every day, not just in, in, my, uh, in my business, but in the company as a whole. So that's exciting for, for yeah. all of us because we're all going this in the same direction, which is forward and not backwards, which yeah. most people in our industry right now are either running, yeah. being bought out or, you know, not knowing what to do next. Kind of yeah. Thing. You know, we're in a really good place right now as, a, as an organization and the fact that we are continuing to grow every month. Um, and I believe it is what you said. It's a testament of the leadership, right? From, from top down and all of the, the different hierarchy leaders that we have in the company, including yourself. Um, Maura, one thing, when, when you came over here, you knew it was going to be better. You believed it was going to be better, but you didn't know for sure. What, what gave you the oomph to kind of, I got to do this, I got to make a change? Because you were 19 years with one company, yeah. and you switched and you know, it probably took us five, six months with the transition and everything. Um, but what, what was it that said, I need to do this? <clears throat> a little bit of blind faith because I wasn't getting the success that I wanted where I was after so many years. But just uh, being able to see our advisors that were coming on board, that got me going at the beginning. When, we, when I first came over, I was basically just trying to get my head around everything. But the, the guys uh, that, were, that came over with us, like the Daniel Prates and, and the Frank DeTorys and all these guys, and watching them have more success every single day, not just because of money, but having more success and feeling better about themselves and feeling better about what they're able to offer their clients and things like that, that drove me. That I said, okay, we made the right decision because awesome. not only are we making great money, but everyone's making good money and yeah. our clients are getting better service. That's you know, awesome. it's funny, I was just having a conversation that, you know, we went through a little bit of hard times in the first six months which probably would have taken out most guys, not only uh, mentally and emotionally, but also financially. And, and in the conversation I had with a gentleman this morning on, on our way into the office here, I said to him, if it wasn't for the model that Xperia built, that um, expense that we had over six months, we didn't even feel it. Yeah. And that's crazy to yeah. come into a new company and keep doing what we're doing, but we were still, you know, building our businesses while we were going through what we were going through as yeah. a company, and we were in that together, yeah. and not worry about the financial stress it was yeah. causing. It was yeah. more the emotional and stress that was what, that we had to deal with. Right. right. Absolutely. That to me, that was like wow. Yeah. Like that, it's different, even just out from the from the gate. It's not like you have to be here for years and years and years to build something yeah. or to have that income flow or to have that uh, opportunity to not worry about your finances. Yeah. It was like almost instantly. Yeah. And that was really, really shocking yeah. to me. And, and, and that's what kept us in the game. Yeah. And just for those watching, um, what he's referring to is the cost of legal bills, right? Legal bills month after month after month yeah. as we were fighting something that, that we had to get through and, and to make this transition happen. So um, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. It's just, it's uh, it was a difficult time, but my gosh, it made us stronger. Yeah. I mean, I, I really believe that some things happen in life for a reason. And as crazy as it might sound, I think that might have been one that we had to go through that, not only for um, you know the, the 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 toughness to build that that grit, that determination inside of each one of us, because there was my wife and I, and then yourself, Frank, and Laval, and your families, mm -hmm. right? When I say model, yeah. it's model and Mara, it's Laval and Natalie, it's 
Frank and Yolanda, um, not only did we all as a fam- as families have to go through all this heartache and, 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 you know, more emotional stress than anything. And what's the future going to look like? Cause we don't know at that point, we've never been through anything like that before, right. but I think what it did is it, it built, it built a bond that I think in the long run, it's better that it happened than if it never happened at Absolutely. all. I really believe that, you know, so, um, sometimes our challenges in life, it's like, we wonder why we're going through them until you get to the other side and you're like, had I have not went through that, mm. I don't think I'd be where I am today. And I think that's that's probably true. Probably of the, true. Some uh, of the, situation. the other thing too is. At the same time. What was the other option? Yeah. Right? We'd already made the, le- the, the leap. Yeah. And it was like, well, we're gonna go all in, and see what happens or, yeah. you know, we quit. And, yeah. and we know coming from where we came from, Quitting's not an option. Yeah. You just got to move forward. Yeah. At the end of the day, those who, who aren't with us probably wouldn't have lasted through that. Yeah. I, I would say yeah. most people would have just said, forget it. I yeah. surrender. I'm yeah. going back. Yeah. I'm doing whatever. And that's great. That's good for them. But at the end of the day, you know, I was talking to uh, one of my colleagues about you and Leanne and the things and the adversities you've gone through, not only, uh, you know, uh, with business and pr- uh, past businesses, but also, you know, per- personal life with, you yeah. know, uh, health re- health issues with your, your kids and stuff like that. Yeah. And to be able to do that along the same time building a business, wow, yeah. that, that, that makes you who you are, yeah. right? That, that's what makes people yeah. great. Yeah. Not shying away or backing down from adversity, not uh, running away or going to the easy path and all that yeah. stuff. Like we learned that early in the business. We were, we were always being, uh, we were, you know, we were the, the, the people that no one really liked yeah. in, in, in the industry. Yeah. And we learned to fight that and, and still become successful. And here it was almost like, well, that's the way it is, right? Yeah. That's just the way it is. And, and thankfully that we, we had that instilled in us uh, but we still took it to the next level. So, yeah. but again, uh, hats off to you and Leanne and what you built, and uh, you know all the leaders in Xperia, the the Golkas, the um, the Baljeets, the you know uh, Francis Sinde, and these are all people across the country. I I've just been blessed to to know through the Xperia model, yeah. and fortunately I get to uh, share in the profits of that too. Yeah. Uh, but they're wonderful leaders. They're great yeah. leaders, and those people. And there's so many, I can't even list them all. Obviously the Frank and Lavals and Neilas and everyone else. But there's so many to list that without them, we wouldn't be where we are either, yeah, right? Absolutely. Uh, the, the day we start believing in our own bullshit yeah. is the day that we should just close the doors, yeah. right? Yeah. We're nothing without our people. That's You've right. heard me say that a thousand times. Yeah. You say it all the time. I am, you know, when I get introduced to people as the top dog or the ED, I'm not, I'm just a guy. Yeah. Right yeah. at the end of the, and, and it's not because, well, it's not because I don't want the recognition. Yeah. I like the recognition. Yeah. I just don't need it yeah. because I'm nothing without my people. Yeah. I and, and proof in the pudding, guys. Over the past three and a half years, I've pretty much, uh, you know, serviced my clients, helped uh, with some some training and everything. But the the business has grown organically without me having to be out front. Now that's changing. Uh, because I know that now we're going to the U.S. I want to be a part of that expansion. I want to grow things bigger here in Canada and there. So, but to be able to build a business yeah. hands off, yeah. what does that tell you about yeah. the opportunity? But uh, but I will say this too, Mauro. You didn't build the business hands off because you paid your dues. It just wasn't paid at Xperia. Hmm. Right? You paid your dues at another organization where you built some credibility and influence and so on, which is why you were able to have such a fast start here as well. Right, So for some people watching this, I know you're saying, uh, you know, hands off, pretty easy. That's true once they've paid their dues. Now, you yeah. had to pay 19 years of dues. Most people Ooh, are only going to have to pay you know, three or four dues over <laughs> three, three or four years over here to build something like what you've yeah. been able to build yeah. if they really go after it. No, so. I, no I appreciate that. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I have the time and experience in it. But uh, what I was alluding to is basically the business model and the people that you surround yourself with, they can uh, help explode your business without you having to work the 24 hours a day. Like yep. I remember the days we were working seven days a week, yep. 13, 14 hours a day yep. and barely getting by. And, you know, those are the dues you're talking about. Yep. But, you know, I don't believe that you have to work that hard in our business model. No. You still got to work hard. Yep. Like this isn't a get rich quick scheme. There's yep. none of that yep. bullshit. At the end of the day, you got to put your, your your feet to the to the ground and start running. Yep. But the model that you and Leanne built yep. is so much better. Yeah. And allows that takeoff to be faster. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, so for the people watching this, because a lot of them they know 
maybe your background or some of your friends, family, and po possibly colleagues and stuff like that, and, and other people in the industry. What did your business do so far in its best month at its peak? What is your number one production? I know last month was actually your second best month. You almost broke the record again. Uh, the the For premium agency? In premium. What was your record month in premium? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. I remember 407,000 of premium in a month. Wow. Could you ever imagine that? 407,000. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that in my entire career. In your entire career, probably combined. Yes, combined. Or close to it. Combined. You, you didn't do 400,000 combined in your entire career? No. And you did that in a single calendar month. Month. Four hundred seven thousand. That's uh, you know last phenomenal. month was was a great month also Ma for, for last everyone, month three hundred eighty nine thousand. Three hundred eighty. Yeah. Hierarchy, you know so our that. goal our goal is to hit a million dollars a month. Yeah. Right. Just in our hierarchy. Amazing. Uh, hierarchy. Or sorry for those of you who don't know what that means in, in our agency organization. And organization. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's guys again like I mentioned across the company that have nothing to do with my organization. But are, are are breaking records every yeah. day. Like the yeah. Baljeet, he's did over one hundred and forty thousand in premium just in his agency. Just in his month. agency yeah. last yeah. month, and he it's doesn't amazing. even have any executive directors That's in right. his business. Uh, he's got three. Does he have three? Yeah, and he just promoted one out of his awesome. agency. So, he's so, got four so again, now. he's yeah. he's growing his his, his business. I hope I didn't miss him. I think he's got three. That's okay. <laughs> it's good when you start getting yeah big when like... you can't remember anything, <laughs> which, is, which is good. But you know, there are people breaking records every single day. Yeah. And the great thing is, is that now, and, and I know you're a big component of competition, uh, there's a competition between, you know, Ontario and the, and the West. And, the West yeah. and we're dead serious about that. Like, yeah. and it's not because we want to be number one, but it's because we want to be number one. Yeah. And if we're driving each other, which is just going to drive the company numbers yeah. bigger yeah. and everyone's numbers bigger, which is, what, which is. Well, you know great. what? I was, um, I was talking to Darren, which, which camera should I look at? I want to get serious here. Yeah, no, I'm, I want I want this to be heard. I want everything I'm saying right now. I was talking to Darren Morrow, yeah. and Darren told me that he was going to whip your ass so <laughs> bad, up, down, yeah. side to side. Like I'm, he, sure, he, I'm sure he said he that. He basically, yeah, he said that you guys aren't going to be 10% of what he does next mm. year. That's what he told me. What do you got to say to that? Well, Other than I'm full of shit. I know, I know you're full of crap because you wouldn't say that. But bring it on, Darren. Uh, hey, listen, Darren, uh, I was talking to Jamie about this uh, just before we got on this video. Uh, when you left your former company, you were able to leave and be able to fight with two hands. I said, our organization, including Jamie, had to build this thing where it's at with one arm hat tied behind their back. So watch out, buddy. Wait till we get <laughs> one arm loose. <laughs> I just want to stir the pot a little bit. You know, and, and, okay, competition's good. And you know what? The funny thing is, and people that don't know what's going on here, um, Moro and Darren have so much respect for oh, each yeah, other and their yeah. businesses. So, you know, that's what's cool is, uh, you know, at the end of last month, Nat had told everyone he's doing 100,000. He told me and I told everyone, right? I let the secret out. Baljeet says he's going to break the all-time record, which was previously held by Don Marie and Rosilda Xavier at 136,000 in premium in the agency. And I let everyone know on Wednesday, hey, guys, three days, four days left, yeah. right? And it's like all eyes were on them. But I think, I could be wrong, but I think every single other executive director was cheering them on. Absolutely. You know, everyone wanted to see them go out and accomplish these big, crazy numbers. And, and we by, were all fighting too. Yeah. In the every, background to get our numbers a little bit higher. That's right. Like to we get were the company hit at those the numbers, but we we're at least. That's right. So because yeah. then we're pushing that belief, right? Yeah. Well, if Belgique can do it in a hundred in, in one month. Oh, it's huge. We and can do it too, right? It's huge. And, it, and it, what it's done is it's elevated everyone's belief levels. And, you know, I kind of feel like Moral and the company you and I both came from, right? Had a great organization, started in 1977, built a powerhouse machine yeah. across the globe or across North America. And I remember, and probably just like you, thinking, what would it have been like to be with them in the heyday? You know, with the big names that we know there and stuff yeah. like that. Like, right what would beginning. that have been like? And it's like, now we're there. Yeah. You know, it's like we have that chance. So now these numbers we used to see these guys doing, it's like years ago, it's like that was impossible. No one like couldn't even think of doing that. Now, but now we're doing them, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. it's just it's it's amazing. It's yeah, exciting. It's unbelievable. So, you know, doing uh, a certain amount of uh, business even last month, um, I would have to scrape, scratch, do whatever I had to do to even try and get half of those numbers. Yeah. And it happens like just automatically now yeah. because you know the business model is different, the opportunity is different, and I think belief, uh, the people's belief yeah. in what they can accomplish, is fantastic here. Yeah. And that's the only thing you know. I, I always say that uh, our business is we're not in the insurance business, we're not in the investment business, we're not in the MGA business, 
we are in the people business yeah. and pouring belief and keeping people, uh, giving them hope in, in, in something that they really can accomplish, not yeah. just a pipe dream. Yeah. That's the business we're in. And that's that's why we're attracting so many people, yeah. uh, you know, from from all industries. You know, listen, you, you talk about, uh, you know, how long it's been the other companies we're, we're, we were with for so long. People know our names now. Yeah. And we're just scratching the surface. Yeah. Right? Or like our old, old CEO says, is a scratch and scratch. Yeah. Um, to me, that's that speaks volumes. Yeah. Right. For other industry leaders and other big MGAs saying, what are those guys doing to have them reach out to us and say, what's going on over there, guys? Like yeah. something that's unique. It's different. Yeah. I'm glad to be a part of it because at the end of the day, like you said, whether it be with our former company or whether it be with Microsoft or whoever, uh, being at the ground floor level and helping the company grow uh, yeah. can only mean nothing but success for the future, big, right? Big, big rewards. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's, that's awesome. Absolutely. Well, Maura, appreciate you taking time out of well, your thank schedule you. to was, meet uh, with me. It was a good day. Right on. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, hopefully some people got something, whichever camera we're supposed to look at. This one. Hopefully some people <laughs> got something. He's going to do a lot of editing. <laughs> no, no. Keep it. Keep it all. It's all good. <laughs> we're not the sophisticated type. Yeah. All right, brother. All right, man. Thank Appreciate you. you. Take Thanks. care. Cheers. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>